Hello everybody and welcome to Lightning Wing Productions, my name is Lightning and today I'll be your guide into the world of gaming. Today I'm going to be watching the Super Mario Bros. movie trailer or teaser trailer. I forget if it's just a teaser or if it's a trailer, let's see, uh, it just says the Super Mario Bros. movie. I doubt we're going to see the whole friggin' movie, but it's either going to be a small teaser or a legitimate full-blown trailer. Now, I gotta say this, if Chris Pratt doesn't even try to sound like Mario, you know, like, Yahoo, it's a me, Mario, then I'm gonna be severely disappointed, okay? Because, I'm sorry, I, I'm one of the people who think that the voice of Mario should be the voice of Mario, Charles Martinet. I don't know why they had to go and recast the voice of Mario from Charles Martinet to Chris Pratt. I don't know why. It, it It's not like... It's not like Charles Martinet can't do the voice anymore. He still does the voices for all the games every single time there's a new game. I feel like the only reason they're doing this is for... I don't know if cloud is the right word. It's probably not the right word. But it, it feels like they're just using the popularity of a celebrity instead of actually getting him to voice the character because that sounds better or whatever. It's something that annoys me. Like, this is a similar argument I made for the voice of Sonic for the Sonic movie. Like, the only reason they were getting... I'm drawing a blank here. The voice actor for Sonic in, this, in the movie... I feel like I feel like part of it was specifically because oh that's a famous actor. But yeah, you had a whole bunch of other stuff going on at the time. Uh Roger Craig Smith was supposedly being let go and the fact that it takes place in an alternate universe and is a uh, an origin story of sorts that all makes up for it. This we don't know what's going on. This could be an origin story. This could be an alternate universe of sorts. We have no idea what's going on. The one good thing is that it seems to be all completely animated. There's no real world nonsense going on. Making it feel like the Smurfs movie. It's all animated in by illumination, thankfully. Now, it's live. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Let me refresh the page just to double check. Okay, yeah, nothing's going on right now. Um, so let's take a look at the picture on the right here. Thankfully, it's not high quality. Actually, hold up. Ugh, I don't know why YouTube does this. There we go. That's better. Okay, so let's take a look here. We've got Mario looking pretty detailed. He, he looks pretty on par with, the, with Movie Sonic, the good version. <laughs> We've got... A toad here that looks like he's off on an adventure. Not Captain Toad, but he's definitely a toad going somewhere. Antiques. Okay, that's pretty funny. You got the 8-bit music boxes from Super Mario World 3. Yeah, you can see my mouse, thankfully. Uh, pow. Uh, no, wait, those are P-switches. You've got a Yoshi egg in a glass case. Is that like a fossilized Yoshi egg? I don't know what these things are called. Uh, got a cheap cheap over there in the background with this store. I guess it might be a... Uh, okay, okay, then. It might be an aquarium. That'd be kind of cool. Imagine some toad having a cheap cheap in an aquarium in his house. That'd be kind of cool. Would that be considered a flex? <laughs> no, a flex would be considered having a gigantic blooper like from Super Mario Sunshine in your aquarium. That's probably what Bowser has. <laughs> I wish I could zoom in. Oh, more... It's another antique sign. That's funny. The 8-bit stuff is considered antiques. You have all these different pipes. Princess Peach's castle on the hill. Okay, I don't know if this is actually how the Mushroom Kingdom is going to look in the movie. But I'll admit, it bugs me because I'm a fan of the way uh, Princess Peach's castle looked in Super Mario Galaxy. Because you had the iconic look from Super Mario 64 plus an additional town added on top of that, which looked like a, a legitimate place you could go. It didn't look gamey. It didn't look like a video game place. This looks like a cross between the two. It definitely looks like 
the Mario universe, but in a sense, it makes more sense, I guess. The question is, what is the story going to be? Is it going to be an origin story? Is it going to be a, um... Just another adventure in the Mario Brothers Kingdom, but bigger? What is it going to be? I I'm... I'm on the fence about it being an origin story because... Eh. Movies about video games, about comics, about cartoons. Pardon me. It bugs me when it is an origin story because you kind of already know the story. But hey, you're getting to see it as a big grand movie. Okay. Mostly just wasting time here. Waiting. Let's see what we got. Ooh. A sort of ice looking kingdom. What is. I'm sorry, what is that thing? And what is this ice kingdom looking place? Yes! <laughs> Open the gates! Okay, that voice works! Penguins? Attack! Really? That is but a taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. Since when was his fire rip that powerful? Found it. Now who's gonna stop me? Whoa! Mario looks good! So it is an origin story, isn't it? What is this place? Uh, he doesn't sound like Mario, though. Do not touch that mushroom! You'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! Ah, uh, he sounds like he's from Brooklyn. <laughs> Had to throw in Luigi getting chased by dry bones, huh? Being part of this moment <laughs> with us and we're Okay. Is that it? All right. Let's Okay. My question is, what is this place? This ice-looking place. I know this ain't Arendelle from Frozen. And what is this massive thing? We've never seen this in the movies before. I mean the games. We've never seen a giant, like... Can we get a better shot of this thing? It looks like a gigantic flying island fortress with lava. And if the lava is dripping off all the time, how is it not running out? Behold, the king of the Koopas! Okay, that voice works for Kimik. And... I like how you can't see his eyes through the glasses. It's a night. I like that. Behold, the king of the Koopas! <laughs> uh, 
Back up. Back up a minute. Okay, we've got some edgy looking Koopas. This dude's got an eye patch. And spiked shoulder pads. Open the gates! Okay. That voice right there works because it sounds gargly. That's the kind of voice you expect to come out of Bowser. Very gargly sounding like that. Yeah, they're just... Okay, funny. But do they not have ice flowers? From what I remember in the games, ice flowers are like the complete opposite of fire flowers. They give you the ability to throw more magic-based snowballs that literally turn your enemies into a block of ice. This is an ice-based kingdom, I guess. And they don't have fire uh, ice flowers, really? That is but a taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Okay, not all that gargly that time, but still kind of works. I just love the detail on his model. You can see, like, the leathery skin he has going on. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine how many polygons the models in these characters have. Because there's a YouTube series where <clears throat> this guy looks at a whole bunch of previous video game models and goes into how many polygons they have. I would love to know how many polygons these movie models have. Look at the range on that fire breath! Imagine if he had that in the games, we'd be we'd be done for. I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? Okay, so just from the way he came out of that warp pipe and the way he's looking around, you can tell. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear me. You can tell this is his first time seeing everything. So this is clearly going to be an origin story. Got the pipe he just came out of on the right. Don't know where that leads to. Does it lead to the quote unquote real world or New Donk City? Because the TV show from like the 90s or 80s, maybe I forget. Was it the 80s or the 90s? I think it was the 80s. Basically expla explained that Bari was from the real world, and then you have the Mushroom Kingdom, which is like a, a, like a parallel universe, I guess. But Super Mario Odyssey hints at Mario coming from New Donk City instead. So it's unclear. What is this place? Not a fan of how Mario sounds. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Okay. I think the joke was that that looked like a poison mushroom. But I guess that, vo wo that voice works for Toad. Toad is normally supposed to sound like... <clears throat> But yeah, that can get irritating over time, so I can see why this voice would work better. Wait, does he have a friggin... Yeah, he's got a collar on his shirt. <laughs> Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! Okay, he sounds more like he's from the Bronx. He sounds like he's from New York. Listen to him. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Yeah, they're going with the New Yorker version of Mario and not the It's a Me Mario. Uh, that bugs me so much, but if they tone down the New Yorker, I can get used to Mario sounding like this, I suppose. Another thing that I guess bugs me is how Peach's castle is on a hill. Because 
Uh, the first time we ever saw Peach's castle in Super Mario 64, that's not what it looked like. It's just inconsistencies like that that bug me. It's a pet peeve. But still, it looks amazing. Look at this. You got a pathway over here leading to somewhere else with floating islands and stuff. That I love floating islands. I don't know why I love that so much. And you've clearly got a town going over here. Rainbow over the castle. Nice. Okay, so Luigi running away from... Oh, wow. I gotta go frame by frame with this. Okay, so you got Luigi running from a bunch of dry bones in a spoopy forest. I gotta go frame by frame because this clip is so short. Yeah, there's a, a Bowser outpost, I guess. Maybe this is on that island. I, I doubt it. Lava and everything. Oh, come on. This, I'm just excited for this movie. Okay, so April 7th. I'm guessing that's April 7th next year, because it doesn't say what year. I am excited. To, I am going to see this movie. I am going to see this movie, and I'm going to be so excited. Whoo, the hype is real. I can only imagine what other things people notice, what other things people can come up with, guess and all that stuff. My gosh, I am I am excited. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, because I enjoyed seeing this trailer for the first time ever. Whew, if you enjoyed my video that much, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to say something like maybe involving the movie, then go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you want to stay tuned for more videos by me, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, I am Lightning of Lightning Introductions, and I will see you all in the next video. Keep gaming, everybody.